Hi, this is Kim O'Neill, your librarian, and today I'd like to talk to you about searching and critical analysis of evidence-based literature. So let's start with what evidence-based practice is. From your textbook, uh, we know that evidence-based practice is the use of the best scientific evidence integrated with clinical experience and incorporating patient values and preferences in the practice of professional nursing care. And this graphic of a stool represents um, the triad of evidence-based practice showing the three legs or pillars um, just as they're defined in Dr. Hauser's definition. There's basically five steps when considering evidence-based practice, and those are ask answerable questions using the PICO tool, which I'll talk about later, searching the literature for the evidence. I'll also explain some tips related to this. Critically appraising your results, deciding what action to take from your findings and applying to your practice. And then as time goes on, evaluating your new or amended practice to see if it's something that really works for you. Why do we do this? And why do you take a class in evidence-based practice? Well, basically, you want to be able to give the highest quality care to your patient, and you also want positive patient outcomes. Just to go back to the definition of evidence, this is a collection of facts believed to be true. And in evaluating evidence-based practice literature, we look at what's called levels of evidence. And there are a variety of tools out there that describe different levels of evidence based on the literature. So this is to what degree the information can be trusted based on the study design. On this next slide, I'm giving you a representation of Dr. Melnick's level of evidence tool, where she grades systematic reviews and meta-analysis as level one evidence. Level two evidence is from well-designed randomized controlled trials, and then so on down the list. You can find that leveling tool on the library's nursing research guide by clicking the evidence-based practice tab and then looking for the highlighted area on the right. If you notice that level one evidence was a systematic review. And what does that mean? Well, this is a piece of literature where multiple randomized controlled trials have been um, extracted using a particular search strategy. And then they are assessed by uh, the researchers to determine if they meet certain criteria. And then that is further distilled and analyzed to look at what um, what that body of research says regarding a particular practice. If you see the evidence pyramid here, this is another example of the hierarchy of evidence uh, developed by the Yale Medical School librarians, where systematic review is on the top and expert opinion on the bottom. So next, we'll talk about databases to search for evidence-based practice. So please go on to part two.